Hi. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Greyhound bus in Canada. Now there's a lot of videos about you know the Greyhound bus in the States and not I haven't really seen any instructional videos about the Greyhound in Canada. So today I'm going to be talking about that. Uh, Canada versus the US is very very different. Whereas there's, it runs east to west, and not so much north to south. Uh, just because that's just just how our country is. <laughs> and the uh, main transfer points, the main ones are Calgary, Winnipeg, and Sudbury. If you're going west, uh, you know, I live in Saskatchewan, so that's kind of like in the middle of the province, sort of. And if you're going west, you'll stay on the same bus until you get to Calgary. And then there's a transfer there for, to Edmonton or further west to towards Vancouver. And I guess in Van, like once you transfer from there, you could transfer in uh, Kamloops. Now that one is a overnight transfer. And what I mean by that is that the, when I went, we got to we got to uh, Kamloops at around 3, 2 or 3 in the morning, I think. And when you get there, that's like the last bus that arrives there during that night and we stay they closed the station for us and we were like in there I was in there overnight they lock it up so you can't go anywhere and really in that city you really I was told you really don't want to be wandering around outside because there's kind of a sketchy area so that was fine and uh, if you go, if you go east, you tran it doesn't say that on your ticket, but you transfer in Winnipeg to further east until if you were to you transfer in Sudbury to either Ottawa that way or to Toronto. I've been to Toronto bus station too. And uh, it's it's quite good. I don't mind Toronto. It's it's okay. Um, now my tips here for this video is stuff you should bring on your journey. Uh, you'll uh, find a lot of the same tips in the frugal travel guru in his videos that's where I got this idea from to do this video I watch all his videos and go to his channel and you watch you'll come across some very good ideas about the bus and transfers and stops along the way um, now just buy one tip that I found this out quite a while ago is that if you uh, where to sit on the bus. If you can, if you can avoid this at all costs, don't sit near the back, near the bathroom. Because you'll have that bathroom smell coming up at you all the time. Like every time someone goes to the bathroom, they come out and if they... It's not a good, <clears throat> not a good place to sit, in my experience. Now, Canada is, it's, uh, it's, uh, we used to have two routes a day going east and west, like one during the day and one at night. But here up until two or three years ago, they canceled the one route, and now you can, there's just one bus 
each way per day that goes either way. So, uh, so yeah, that's, <laughs> so I'm just, I should have made notes or something, but I didn't. It's, uh, it's a good, good way to see the country, you know, everybody, I've been to Ottawa twi twice now on the Greyhound bus, and I've been to Kelowna up west three times on the bus, actually three or four times. Now, this is weird, this part here, like if you, where I live, I usually catch the bus in Mooseman, which is about 45 minutes away, or Whitewood. If I'm going west, I'll catch the bus at Whitewood. Now, the strange thing about this is in Whitewood, they have two options. You can, it's the same bus, but you can pick either way. You can go to Calgary and wait, transfer in Calgary for, have a three over, three hour layover there. Or you can just go through Calgary, stop for an hour and whatever, go to down through Lethbridge in that way and transfer in Cam, go a different way, down Highway 3 through Creston, Fernie, Cranbrook, that area. Or you take the other route, which takes you up through Banff, Canmore, up that way. And I've been both ways a couple times, so it's it's a good way to see the country, different parts of the country, you know, that's, that's the way I look at it anyways, is, is, uh, you know, you don't have to spend money on hotel rooms and stuff like that, so you just keep going. Now, sleeping in on the bus is not very easy, it's, it's kind of hard. Actually, it's really hard. So, but I'm not that tall. I'm only five foot five. So, I just either curl up next to the window or try and stretch out as best you can and make the best of it. Now, you're not going to get a whole bunch of sleep. You're not going to have like eight hours of solid sleep on the bus because you'll be getting off, you'll be getting on, you'll be stopping throughout the night. And there'll be like, sometimes there'll be people talking on their phones loudly, very loudly in the middle of the night and you'll have to tell those people to shut up or, you know, keep it down. So yeah, that I've had that happen to me. And I've also had stinky people sit right beside me. My last time I went to Ottawa, I had this smelly guy. He was a picture, you know, pig pen from Charlie Brown. That's pretty much what this guy looked like and smelt like. It was t terrible. The whole way, all the way to Ottawa, this guy sat right beside us. And the next, and we tried to move, and he, oh... Was, it was not good. It was bad. So, yeah. And shower before you leave. Because, oh, by the time you get, if you're going on a two or one, one to two day journey, you're going to, by the end of it, you're going to not smell so pretty. So I always try and shower by the, before I leave and, wash up along the way, like take a face cloth or toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, all that stuff. Take that with you and try and keep yourself fresh as possible on the way. So, anyways, it's just a small video. Leave a like, comment if you want. And uh, we'll uh, see you later. So, if you're taking the Greyhound Canada, I would highly recommend a great way to see the country.
Have a good one.